Hi, my name is Suzanne Bart. I'm a girl about town. Chelsea girl, I live at the Chelsea Hotel and I wear too many hats. I don't know what I do, I do it all. I do events, I art direct, I produce, I host. It seems I'm just multi, multi, what's that word? Multifaceted, darling, there you go. Well, I think one of the things about getting people, bringing people, getting people together, it's really the people that make me want to do it because I see the people having fun. So I see smiles, I see people who don't know each other saying hello to each other, flirting together. It's all about energy, really. It's the soul of the party, which makes a party good. It's allowing people to be who they want to be, acceptance. You know, freedom of being yourself is really what I'm about. Fashion is a vehicle to be who I want to be today. I want to be a Marie Antoinette, the Baroque, Victorian punk. You can be whatever you want to be. It's a fantastic canvas. My favorite fashion are the fashions that people make out of nothing, you know, like the kids that I work with. They come to my events and they made things out of like tubes and plastic bags and it looks amazing. Transformation is creativity, it's expressing yourself, it's something from within. Some people paint, some people sing, some people act, some people do locks, I do locks. Oh, I could do this, I see that outfit, I see this skirt with these safety pins. Oh, great eyebrows tonight, you know. It's not planned, it just felt right. <laughs> There's a lot under that bed and I'm like, I pulled out boxes and it was all crumpled up and I'm like, oh my God, that's going to look terrible in the mannequin. It's funny when Valerie came, we had like 10 racks of clothing. I was worried because, I, you know, I didn't ever do an exhibition and my feeling is that things will look worse than mannequins. And she was smiling and I could see I was watching her face and I could see her face was lighting up and she was like into it. I thought, oh, this is going to work out. Assault used to come to my parties and then he had this boyfriend, Matthew, uh, who's an incredible genius as well. And I said, why don't you guys do a look-alike? Dress alike and I'll hire you. So I kind of got salty going with doing looks and I'm going, I want those looks. And I said, why don't you do a look for me? A lot of the looks in the museum is Matthew and Salty. It was very head to toe. Like Salty would do the outfit and Matthew would do the concept together with Salty and then the hair and the makeup. They lived downstairs at the Chelsea Hotel. You'd see me go up and down the stairs, you know, in fittings. Actually, at the end, we did everything on the phone. I didn't even need fittings anymore. They knew me so well. I think the love ball, really. I never forget. It was just people having a wonderful time, an explosion of, of beauty and people exploding with good energy. The love ball was very... Um, moving to me because every single person worked for free. Nobody got paid, not even the union at Roseland. I ended up getting them to work for free. It was a really successful night and people were like standing and the energy and applauding and I was standing there and thanking them for coming. And I felt like a, a, a transistor rate, you know, their energy went through my hand and came back out back at them. And it was sort of the most surreal thing I've ever experienced.